This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for August 30th, 2024. It's Friday, which means new releases. Lamb of God, Ashes of the Wake, the 20th Anniversary Edition is out today, as is Love and Rocket, Soul Live Remixes, Oasis releasing Definitely Maybe, the 30th Anniversary Deluxe Edition, U2 releasing Zoo TV Live in Dublin, 1993, the EP, and Palais Royale have released Death or Glory. More Lincoln Park news to announce. Yesterday, they teased a major announcement when they tweeted out, be part of something September 5th. Members of the band's subscription-based fan club, Lincoln Park Underground, began receiving a notice that there will be an LPU exclusive event next week on September 5th. The announcement sent via email only to current LPU subscribers said, be part of something, but also included a unique access code to request tickets. No specific details about the event were given except for the following regarding ticketing information. The email saying, quote, event tickets are limited, not guaranteed, and will be randomly assigned. This event will occur September 5th in Los Angeles between 12.30 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. The email also mentioned that event tickets are only available for Lincoln Park Underground members with a valid Passport Plus membership as of August 24th. That tickets are free and non-transferable. There are no Plus Ones allowed. You must be 18 years old or older. And that fans should not RSVP if they cannot be in L.A. for the event. Fan speculation about the event suggests that there could be an exclusive concert to go along with the announcement of who will replace late singer Chester Bennington. Jack White has announced new gear for his third man hardware company, developed in collaboration with Anna Sounds. The LaGrotte analog pedal is now available for pre-order in both standard black and limited edition yellow via reverb. The pedal has separate volume controls for direct sound and reverb sound to attain the ideal mix no matter what genre the user is playing. It also features a three-spring design and two-band EQ that only affects the reverb itself. Noel Gallagher has given his first impromptu interview since Oasis reunited earlier this week. He was out shopping in London when he was approached by a man named Steve and his four children, who wholesomely explained to his kids that Noel is in his legendary band. He was asked by the dad why he fell out with Liam in the first place, joking, saying, why'd I fall out with him? Because he stole my teddy bear. Not lying, he stole it in 1978. Other clips and photos of the encounter see Noel and his family in a group photo and videos of them walking on the streets together. Titan Comics, in collaboration with the Jimi Hendrix estate, have come out with Jimi Hendrix Purple Haze, the first fully sanctioned full-length comic inspired by Hendrix's music and featuring Hendrix himself as a space-hopping sci-fi hero. The book, written by Mello Brown, has Jimi Hendrix in the 21st century headlining a tour across the universe while an intergalactic war rages on. Unfulfilled by his fame and wealth and longing to make a difference, he sets out to help free the enslaved citizens of a remote planet. The graphic novel was released this week. Neil Young had hoped that Crazy Horse would return after canceling the band's summer tour due to illness, saying, quote, a couple of us really hit a wall. I just woke up one morning on the bus and said, I can't do this, I gotta stop. I felt sick when I thought of going on stage. My body was telling me you've gotta stop, so I listened to my body. Then it goes into all of the legal matters. You got this, you got that, people bought tickets, they did this, they did that. I understand that. What matters to me is the art of playing and the music. That's what people loved, that's what they came to see. If that's not there, my going isn't happening. My body told me not to do it. In a new interview with AARP, Tom Hamilton from Aerosmith talked about Aerosmith's recent announcement that they were retiring from touring. When he was asked how much hope Aerosmith has for future activities on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being doubtful will do anything, 10 being yes will be doing something, he said on the hope scale, I'm between a 7 and a 9. We won't be doing tours from now on but I'll always have hope that there are other opportunities that'll come along. 
This isn't the first time black clouds have been on our horizon and somehow the sun managed to come out. Time and hope are all we have at the moment. And nearly four years after it was reported that Creed lead singer Scott Stapp was cast as Frank Sinatra in the Ronald Reagan biopic, the movie hits theaters today. Even though Scott Stapp's bandmate Mark Tremonti actually released an album of Frank Sinatra covers, Scott Stapp plays Old Blue Eyes in the new movie. And Jelly Roll kicked off his Beautifully Broken tour in Utah this week. And according to a Facebook post, there were some kids selling lemonade. Jelly Roll stopped to get a glass and gave the kids nearly $700. One of the kids' moms took to Facebook saying, So today was an interesting day. My kid and her cousins wanted to do a lemonade stand, and they had a famous singer come by to buy some lemonade. Who would have thought that they would run into Jelly Roll in West Valley and for him to be so generous, giving them almost $700. Bad Religion have announced the cancellation of their fall 2024 North American tour, citing unforeseen family circumstances as the reason for the canceled dates. The band saying we apologize for any disappointment and disruption that this may cause. Ticket refunds are available at the point of purchase. And Gojira's landmark performance of Mia Culpa staged on the side of a castle during the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympic Games is now getting a digital release. The group were paired with mezzo-soprano Marina Viotti amid a backdrop of macabre imagery from France's revolutionary history. Joe Duplantier saying, We very simply and organically came up with riffs and grooves that we like to play. We took it as an opportunity to represent the metal scene, so it was our task to really go for it and lay it down and not just be there to play a few notes to shock people. We decided to go full on with the double kick drums, screaming, growling, epic moments, and a tempo breakdown at the end. We really wanted to show what metal is all about, and to our surprise, it was all accepted by the committee. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday, Episode 221 featuring John 5 from Motley Crue is available now.